I'm in Sacramento, California today, ripping a gig guitar teching with my great friends in Against the Current. We are currently out on the Nightmares and Daydreams tour, which has been going fantastic so far. Uh, but after the show today, I'm going to be flying back to Orlando to start getting ready for a trip to Texas for the Dallas Guitar Show and some other fun stuff. Uh, but before we do that, we've got a gig to do. Let's go check it out. How's the show, David? It's great. Stuck. I've just made it to the airport. It's like 2 a.m. and it's time for sleep, but it's actually not time for sleep because we've got to fly back to Florida and basically get right into a full day. There will be no sleep today. We'll save that for tomorrow. We're moving up in the world, but not right this second. So if it's a wall, I'm assuming the case is in Z1, but the, the guitar is on the wall. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then, Kate, you can go on the sheet after this and also mark off the 2015 Les Paul the Wax. And that's just the one. You haven't done a fresh finds in a little while. I think after we get back from Dallas, we should do a return to form and do just like a regular fresh finds. Last time we came back from Texas and filmed a fresh finds, it was the craziest one by far. You know what the fresh finds? That's when we do the live stream. Oh, good. There's also, I don't want to let any secrets out, but there might be a crazy fresh finds coming up Thursday. They're like, they might be coming in Thursday. You, you guys will see them when you see them. It's time to load out. We got a lot of guitars and we're going to bring them to you. The three cases. Three cases sideways to, to I think pro Packers. I think we're becoming Pro Packers. This looks pretty damn good. <laughs> Very Pro Pack job out there. Let's go see it. That's great. Dude, you guys did a very nice job. Clean. Good job, everybody. Plenty of room for me to acquire some new stuff. Definitely. Taking over to vlog really quick. It's about 5.15 right now. Gonna go pick Eric up on the way to Dallas. It's got everything packed. It's a beautiful pack shop. I think Eric and I are getting a little too good at this right now. But yeah, it's gonna be a long day, long drive. Not too bad though. We've done it before. Good morning. <sighs> Red shorts day. Red shorts day. I'll probably wear them on the drive home too. No, I need to get it. <laughs> Just kidding, Eric ran back to get a camera. Dude, he's messing up the flow of everything. He looks like the the Spooner Man. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> you ever seen a 26 inch symbol get popped? I saw it too. It's still alive. It's 1140. Uh, checkout's at 12. So Thomas and I are going to find something to do for the next hour and a half until Alex and Kaylee land. Then I think we're going to revisit the coffee shop where Alex and Thomas and I went back in uh, October for Arlington. Uh, and yeah, should be fun. Okay. 
Bye. Afternoon. Got my seat. Got my toiletry bag. How are you guys? Very good. How about yourself? Very well. The flight was pretty well, aside from the child. I would go out that way. Children. But, you know, he's just kind of standing right there. He's just standing there, not nice. looking at you. So. That was the one. The girl next to me did not cause any issues. Well, no, she was old enough to not. <laughs> I mean, I think anyone should be old enough to do better. It comes down to your mindset, Brian said. Mindset, Brian said. We have arrived in Dallas, Texas. It's like three o'clock right now. We have a few errands to run, and then we are going to go load in for the Dallas Guitar Show. And then we are going to go check out our friend Bruce's collection and see what he's got. Deal one has already been done. Already done, done, done. I literally walked in and two different people came up to me and said, you have first dibs on X thing, come check it out. So this one we had to have. This always stresses me out seeing people ship in all, like, I don't know if they put it in the boxes for, ship, like for shipping or if you van load it, but I see some people just straight up like ship guitar boxes and that sounds like a lot of work. So, all kinds of fun stuff. Very nice. We'll go through all, I think there's like 20 pieces, so we'll go through all of them. In, uh, in, in 1991, I was in a band and I was in Manhattan. I lived in New York City. This was before the internet, obviously. They had something called public access television. But all that you would need to do was completely free to air your own 27 minutes TV show. Okay, you didn't have to pay for airtime, but you couldn't advertise, and you'd have to produce the show yourself. You had to do an episode a week. Yeah. It had to be a new episode at least 23 weeks in a row. I started my own TV show in 1991, and it ran on Manhattan Cable from 1991 to 2002. On the fly, with multiple VHS tape machines, and we would go out and we would shoot live bands, local New York rock and roll, club bands and people hanging out. What was the show called? It was called Wolf Tube. It's on Wolf Tube TV on YouTube. Oh, see, so I'll put it all over. Well, okay. There were 385 episodes when I finished. Dude, cheers. Seriously, thank you so much. Have a good show. Yes, I think, I think it's going to be a good show. We'll be seeing you plenty more, yes. Right. Where's good. your booth? Right over yonder. Okay, right right over right the door. Door. I'll come by. I want to see how you price Please. it. Make sure it's not too low. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Deal number one of the show. Tons of really, really cool pedals, some really rare stuff from Electro Harmonics. We got all these from a friend who used to work for Electro Harmonics, and so some of these are like, I mean, this one he said was literally the first one off the line, so this is really early stuff. Also found this 1983 Strat with a Kaler on it, and this has been very modified, but it is a really cool piece, and I'm very excited to get this one ripped apart and see kind of what we're looking at here, what's original, what's not. I think most of this is not original, but very fun guitar nonetheless. About to go eat some dinner. And then we're gonna go see Bruce's stuff at his commercial space, and maybe do some deals. Here. I'm excited, I've heard the stories. You can uh, open any one of these cases you feel free. Oh man, this is where all the magic happened on the guitar side. There's so much stuff. What are the odds you got a uh, Kaler tremolo arm? <laughs> we just got this weird 83 Strat that has a Kaler arm. There's a bunch of arms there. I don't know what <laughs> it would be or not. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, it's, not, it's Jack, oh, he's out of his base. That's sick. Also, whatever you find here, you don't. Have, you can just write me a check for it. That way, you can keep your cash on hand. Oh, dude, you, you know what you do. <laughs> How do you do most of your sales? Electric file. Or viola. I don't, I'm not smart enough to know. I should say, look, if, if it's something that you know, you're gonna get all the money for. I'm not trying to uh, cut into anything. Yeah. So. Much of this is already listed on eBay. Not, maybe like, a, I've only got 100 listings on eBay right now. So most of this is not on eBay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, at my old shop, I had probably 100,000 items. That's fretless. 2020. I didn't even know they did a fretless now. Yep. That's wild. Fretless jazz. 
the, the, the hand carved electric. They made about 150, You're, 200 uh, of them. Are you gonna keep this? You that, gotta... that, that's that's for a keep. That's oh, gotta go. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That's hand crazy. Carved. That's crazy. I couldn't even imagine hand carving that in a way. Oh, that's beautiful. That's you that's find a, the craziest. Yeah, that's wood stuff. paneling. Look, that's a real old Bixby too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, Tyson. Tyson. That's yeah. the brand that Amy has uh, all over. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a good Takai, yeah. yeah this is, I, got, I bought five of these at one of the shows. <laughs> yes, you too. Gone up a lot. Uh, TST, yeah, TST62. Now, that's different. That's the European version versus the AST62, which is the American version. Was there a different version for Asia as well? Yeah. No. That, that was, that, the AST was the American version, and everybody else got TSTs. So, Japan and Europe. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is absolutely rad. <laughs> Dude. Korean. Everything's all Japanese. I've they make some in China and they make yeah, yeah. some in Japan yep, still. Yep, they do. I've had Korean ones, I've had Chinese ones. I didn't know they make ones in Korea. Oh yeah. This is my this is the prison guitar. I don't even know what that is. So this was made inside of a Texas prison. <laughs> Legitimately. That's amazing. And it, it's pretty damn nice. The whole la cool, uh, the label's the, what's the coolest bleep in there. Look at this. Uh, Texas Prison Blues. Praise him with the sound of the, tr of the trumpet. Praise him with the, let's see, the lute and the harp. Psalms. Fifth, huh. one, 15, oh, three. Brotherhood of Christ, forever in two vehicles, and it's got the inmate number on there. <laughs> no way. And when what prison it was in? 2010. Uh, um, so these are clean the ones in my house. So this like, isn't it. You got. Oh, <laughs> shot. I've got, I've got like almost 300, 400 cards in my house. Which one is this? The G. That's the G fifty four twenty one or something. How, how do you memorize all these? See, that's why. Heavy. Yeah. I brought that back to San Antonio with me. I don't know if the light helps or not. Yeah, it does. Does. I did the San Antonio show the one time we did it. <laughs> Model six? Mod, that's a no. That's a um, DL, DLX two seventy five. DLX two seventy five. Look at that. That's original Dang. factory. Not trained yet. That's rad. Look at that. That's super cool. We have a Deluxe 59er I meant to bring to the show and then we didn't get a chance to. I have an S standard. 1977. 77. I like these, you still get the good, even though it's like the bare bones yep. one without all, you still get the good pickups in yep. it. And you get all the switches too. Yeah, this is uh, this is right up our alley. Yep. It's a Tolman. Oh. Got a Tolman? Acoustic. Oh, is it acoustic Tolman? <laughs> So what? The K20B. Oh yeah, the, I mean, the that's the one 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 it's cool as heck. This is a lot higher spec than that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like a You know PRS. exactly what. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, set neck like a PRS double cut. Me and Thomas know someone who uh, builds guitars, and this is very in his. Uh, this looks like something he would care Unfortunately, the top cracked a little bit. He said you, I could send it back to him, and he'd probably fix it for nothing because he just wanted to see it. But I'm like, yeah. Cool. I'll give you a check. Cool. If you had to guess how many things you sold in your life, <laughs> millions? Millions of items. Millions of items, oh yeah. And the point, point is I did millions of items by the time I was 15. Bruce, you're a madman. <laughs> and I mean, that with, Look, I mean that in the most endearing way. I'll tell you the craziest thing I've ever sold. One time? Well, yeah. well I'll, I'll tell you a couple. I traded for a horse one time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? What? I have no. I don't rock He's just that. gonna go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's either it. I'm eating, either eating Reese's or I'm going to bed. <laughs> That's it. Y'all go to bed and I'm gonna work.